Tuberculosis is still a major global health problem, with 9 million new cases and 2 million deaths every year, intensely associated with poverty, malnutrition and poor sanitation, and now also with HIV infection. As 35,000 new tuberculosis infections acquired each year in Peru, our country concentrates the highest rate of new cases of South America and an ever-increasing percentage of drug-resistant cases, with significant public health burden and consequent mortality. As mycobacterium tuberculosis, the main etiological agent, is easily transmitted through the air, it is expected that drug-resistant variants of the infection could easily spread in an already vulnerable national context, where despite recent economic improvements, poverty and poor education are still a significant issue. Peru's tuberculosis health program is widely praised and exemplary with universal free treatment, but suboptimal patient adherence and accessibility problems can lead to drug resistance. Specifically, resistance to pyrazinamide is emerging as a major problem, which is critical in the patient treatment protocol because resistant cases will obligately follow a long version of the treatment. Pyrazinamide is prescribed as a first and second line drug. A more efficient patient screening should then include the determination of resistance to pyrazinamide and with this early identification of patients for whom the drug would be ineffective, optimizing the treatment, improving adherence and reducing toxicity. Due to the lack of robust and simple susceptibility tests to detect PCA resistance, virtually few to non-health services address this issue. We have devoted time and effort to conceptualize and starting to implement novel cost-effective immunodetection methodologies to measure in a straightforward procedure the release of pyrazinoic acid in a mycobacterium tuberculosis culture coming from the patient sample as an indicator of resistance to pyrazinamide. In this way, we aim to correctly identify PCA-resistant cases in much shorter times and with unbiased results, contributing to more correct distribution of resources and establishing the appropriate treatment scheme with improved patient adherence.